Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Torn, and today I'm going to be reacting to Enemix. See that? Pure, pure, pure. I don't know. Is that how you say that, or is it just pure, pure, pure? I don't know. Right, let's go. Ooh, it's giving zombie. Oh, oh, that harmony. Ooh. Okay, real quick, real quick. I'm absolutely loving, like, it's like, it looks very emo. Like, the the eyeliner, like, the eyeshadow. Oh. It feels very 2000s. Oh. Oh. No! You see that movement? We are! Oh, no! Oh! I can't! I can't! I'm already in love! I friggin' love Nenmix! I'm not swearing! I can't swear! I'm not allowed to! It's YouTube! I'm trying my best to not! But oh my god! I'm so excited to see Lily now! Oh! Oh. What is this change up? Okay, before we get into the chorus, before we get into the chorus, I just want to unpack what I've heard already. So it's like, it's grunge. It's, they're giving us so many different flavors already just in this opening section. Like, even that just there, the... Mm, it's almost like the calm before the storm. Okay, right, right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna... Go, go, go. Ooh, it's so hip-hop. Oh my god, that outfit! That harmony, I just want to hear it one more time, please. <laughs> oh, that guitar. Now, 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 now. I'm just so confused. Like, the vocals are so sweet, but the background is like lightning, and they're like. Uh, like, I'm so confused. Oh, that's stunning. Oh. Ah, oh, you can really hear the distinctive voice of Lily. Uh. Oh my god, wait, who is this girl in the middle here? Is it, oh, uh, what's her name? Sully? Sully Moon? Sully Oon? I can't remember. She has got, like, one of my favorite visuals in K-pop. Like, I don't know what it is about her. She just is so attractive, but not in, like, a conventional sense, I don't think. Like, she's got a... Maybe she is, because she's got a very, very small face, and I think, like, that's really big in K-pop, but, like, just her image is just so, so, like, unique, and she just... I don't know. I just love her visual. I love that they don't try to produce music like any other K-pop group. They just, like, have a very unique sound. Oh! E! I, sorry, I swore, so I have to cut that bit out. But, like, that A! Look at that dance move! Oh! Bloody hell! She's rissing me up! Stop! No! Stealing her. Oh, 
Wait, 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 before we get into it, before we get into it, if this, wait, we don't have time for a bridge and a chorus. I want to hear a high note from Lily, please. I think that's just the end. Look at her visual. Oh my God. Creepy. There's invisible children. Lily is my bias, but I I really just want to call her Sully. This girl in the middle here, she really feels like a bias wrecker right now. I can't even lie. She was so, so prominent in this MV. Like, oh my gosh, her visuals, just everything, like her expressions. I'm so in love with her. I don't even know who she is, but she just like, she's just so enigmatic to watch like she's so captivating if i see her i'm just like oh like what 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 facial expression is she giving me now like in terms of the song i'm actually kind of really really vibing with their hip-hop vibe i think the contrast of the music video to the the tonal aspects of each member is a little bit confusing to me but at the same time, like, I feel like a lot of K-pop has been sounding really similar these days. We've got a lot of, like, that kind of, like, very vibey, summery, like, liquid vibe. Like, I don't know how to, like, it's just very, very mellow. And I'm kind of, like, that's not really my vibe. So it's really, really, like, great to see just a group doing something that's so so different from what everybody else is doing i think what i like about nmix and i think it's like very prevalent in a lot of the works that they have done so far is they do have a lot of change-ups and what's so great is you know that this is a group that has such great vocals but also could still do you know like the classic pop tracks right like their vocals go hard i've heard lily sing live like if you haven't seen it you should definitely go check out lily's cover of symphony it is stunning like it is so so good like you really really get to hear just how incredible her vocals are honestly i think one of the best vocalists in current k-pop like just so so good but I love the fact that they can do, like, pretty much any concept. Like, I'm trying to think of Roll the Dice. Obviously, it still had, like, bad bad girl vibes in it, right? But, like, the color scheme is, like, very, like, bright. Other than, you know, like, the dance break. Do, 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 we go up. Even when you compare this MV to, like, O and O. Like, O and O is so colorful. Like, they've literally, like, are floating around with, like, fishes and, like, everything. Like, butterflies. I don't know. It's just, like, very colorful. But this one is so stark contrast of this. It's giving, like, it's giving vampire. It's giving zombie. It's giving Halloween. Like, I feel like they should have saved this for Halloween. It would have been so, like, marketable to release this around Halloween time. Because it is very, very dark. The color scheme is very, very dark. Very, like, a lot of blacks and whites. Like, I love that vibe. Like, it's just so different from the current cutesy stuff that I'm seeing. Also, there is another member. This one here with the blonde hair. I'm really, really liking this hairstyle on her. I think that it's like, it's a really, I guess because nobody else has blonde hair. When somebody has blonde hair or platinum blonde, if we want to be specific, when somebody has platinum blonde hair in a group, it really just makes them stand out because a lot of times the other members will just have black hair. And I guess because black hair is like their natural hair color, uh, more um, predominantly when you're, you know, Korean, I guess. Um but like when somebody has platinum blonde hair, they really stand out. And I think the visual of the platinum blonde hair really, really works on her. Like, I think that every time I saw her, I was thinking, damn, like she's got good visuals too. Like, I, I, I really, really like this. Out of everybody, like, come on. Like, come on. Her visuals just can't be matched. Like, look at this. Like, she really, really is so attractive. And I don't really really like to focus on people's looks too much when i react to k-pop because i really don't like how heavily dependent looks are in the k-pop industry but like sometimes there are certain visuals that just really really stand out alone and I'm, that's not to negate any talent that she has because she's a really good performer she's a really good singer too but like her visuals are just so 
capturing to me the audience in general that like if i'm watching them i'm just so drawn in like she definitely has a very very memorable image that's like one of my favorite things though like and mix really not afraid to change it up are they really not afraid to just go completely in an opposite direction to what anybody think that they would do and like i love the fact that it is nmix coded it feels very very nmix coded but at the same time it's still fresh and different like they definitely have a certain style but at the same time it's so different from what we currently see that it just really really is so it's so great that there's so many different variants in k-pop at the moment that if you like this sort of music or if you like the cutesy stuff if you like more rock stuff there's so many different groups that you can be involved with that have those different flavors that have those different genres that it really is becoming so inclusive for people to just be a part of it and i absolutely love that because it's really something that i've been so heavily involved with for many years now it's just it's great i love it <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like this video, please consider giving me a like, comment, and subscribe, and please check out my Patreon. If there are any videos that you would like me to react to, please consider subscribing to my Patreon, and I will prioritize the videos that you suggest for me to react to. And with that said, have a great week, guys. Bye!